Sun Tractor, 28 foot pontoon boat that I'm fixing to convert to a houseboat. I've already started kind of working on it. I stripped all the furniture out of it. Fix them, put a new water pump in the 60 horse Merc there. And get up here where I can show you the inside. Here's the inside of it. Back deck. This is where the generator, this is the fuel tank, this is where the generator is going to go. This captain's chair is coming out. I'm building a new helm. This takes up way too much room. It's kind of janky anyway. It's 28 foot by 8 foot 6 wide. So the cab that I'm with a houseboat part I'm building is going to be 16 foot long and 8 foot wide and it's going to go from about 2 feet start 2 feet from here out because this is where the ladder going up to the top is going to be it's going to end up to about right in this area somewhere so I'm going to have about Six foot of deck left in the front is the plan. Plus, I want to make sure the center of the weight's a little farther forward, so I don't want it being too heavy in the back. So, this is the start of the pontoon houseboat. Okay, here's the plan for the floor going to do this burnt plywood uh, it's going to be 16 by 8 and I'm just using this torch right here just to give it a light burn first you got to kind of sand it down a little bit just a light sand and then take your burner and just go over it Just got her all wrapped up. That's the floor for the cab or cabin, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go on top, go up on the pontoon deck, and it's going to be bolted down with the one-inch fire uh, insulation below it. And I got it pretty even. The deal is just kind of keep watching it, make sure you don't get too dark in some areas and there's my helper Bailey Bailey I got done with that didn't I you gonna go get me a beer sit that's a good girl. Thank you, girl. That was a good girl. So now, step number two, gluing the plywood down to the styrofoam. That ought to be pretty tricky. Got a little work done on the floor. Got the uh, plywood cut into planks. And I'm currently gluing it down. I uh, just done a little at a time. That way I have enough weight. I'm running out of stuff to put on there that's heavy. <laughs> so I'm going to let this set up. Then I'm going to do this other row right here. And then probably wait overnight to do the other half. 
So it's coming along pretty good. Well, here's the completed pontoon houseboat floor. So turned out pretty good. Of course, it doesn't have the polyurethane or anything on it yet. Still got to get that done. At least it's all glued down. And then I'll just have to get a bunch of people over here to lift it up, put it in the boat, and bolt her down. Here's what's going to be my, see if we can get it where in the light, see it in the light better. This is going to be my composite walls, uh, except this is a little bit, this is three quarter inch and I'm going to go with uh, uh, three eighths instead of three quarter inch to cut down on the weight. And then it's just glued to the foam and then this paneling, but I actually, I'm going to do a different kind of paneling. I, Thought this looked too bright. But anyway, I tried a few different glues to see which one worked best and tore it apart. This 3M Fast Bond was the winner out of all the glues I tried. It glues really well to styrofoam and plywood and uh, worked really great. Here is one of the composite walls that I have all glued together. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of that part. Uh, here I'm laying out the windows for the cutouts uh, before they go into the boat. And that will be the next step. Here I am fixing to winch the boat into the shop to start uh, framing up the uh, walls and ceiling and getting it all dried in so I have my truck on the other end of the shop fixing to winch it in to uh, set the walls in it this pic shows the walls in the boat and plumbed up just temporarily uh, some of the windows have been cut out and now I'm fixing to start framing the uh, roof in the boat inside the shop. Here is the boat with the roof on it. And now I'm fixing to start doing uh, the wiring and the plumbing and finishing out the interior, putting the door on it, the sliding front door and the back door and uh, just pretty much wrapping it up at this point. Here I'm hooking onto the boat, fixing to pull it out of the shop. I've got most of the interior done and I'm gonna drag it out of the shop here across the yard and pull it into the pond to do a float test, just to see how it floats and kind of see where I need to readjust the weight if I need to and uh, just make you know, adjustments. Here's the float test pictures that I took. Uh, after I pushed it in the pond, it uh, was floating just about perfect. I really didn't have to make any adjustments at all. I got pretty lucky, I guess. And now it's time to... Uh, 
put the trailer in the water and get it up on the trailer to take it for a test out on the lake. Here's the boat up on the trailer and it uh, actually worked out pretty good. I uh, pulled it to the lake and drove it around a little bit and everything worked out perfect. So be sure and tune in to my other videos, the other episodes showing it out on the lake and I'll see you on the next one.